Hello, grade 11s and families. Welcome to course selection for the 2023-24 school year. A good place to begin course selection is by asking yourself three questions. Every year, we encourage you to look ahead into the future, then plan backward to make sure your plan addresses these three questions. Am I on track to graduate? Do I have a direction or directions in mind for after I graduate? And will my course selections for grade 12 meet requirements for graduation and for my post-secondary plan? Remember the mind map that you learned from elementary school, thinking about your future. Ask yourself, who are you? What are your opportunities? Who do you want to become? And what is your plan for achieving your goals? Let's remember there are four requirements to graduate with the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. You need to earn at least 30 credits. 18 compulsory and at least 12 electives. You must meet the provincial literacy requirement either by passing the literacy test in grade 10 or taking the literacy course in grade 12. And you must complete a minimum of 40 hours of community service. The more volunteer hours you complete, the better it looks on your resume when applying for jobs in the future. Lastly, students are now expected to experience e-learning in order to graduate. Grade 11s are only expected to take one e-learning course, but you can choose to opt out by having a parent or guardian sign an opt-out form given to you by your guidance counselor. When you go to My Blueprint, you will notice the Graduation Indicator tool can be found on the right-hand side of the course selection screen. It helps you track how many of your compulsory and elective credits you have earned and how many are in your plan for the future. When you're finished planning your courses for next year, the numbers in orange should show that you've met all your graduation requirements. As a reminder, these are the 18 compulsory credits required to earn your diploma. For many students, after this grade 11 year is done, grade 12 English might be your last remaining compulsory course, besides the mandatory religion course that you also have to take in grade 12, unless you've taken it sooner. You may have already taken courses that meet the Group 1, Group 2, or Group 3 compulsory requirements. If not, be sure to include these courses in your Grade 12 plan. In addition to these compulsory credits, you'll need to earn at least 12 electives for a total of at least 30 credits to graduate. Your guidance counselor will be sitting down with you in the spring to make sure that you have your compulsory courses covered and that you have chosen enough electives to graduate by the end of Grade 12. One last reminder that you must complete 40 hours or more of volunteering within your local community. Please come to guidance to get a volunteer form if you don't have a copy that will need to be signed by your supervisor who is in charge of counting your volunteer hours. Remember that there are many ways to find volunteer opportunities. You can find a list of opportunities on the Monsignor Doe website in the guidance section under Community Service Opportunities. Volunteer hours must be submitted by no later than May 1st of your graduating year. As I've mentioned before, all grade 11s must complete one online learning credit. Speak to your guidance counselor about taking an online course or just make the selection in my blueprint in your high school planner under eLearn courses. Or choose the opt-out process by speaking to your guidance counselor for more information if you feel e-learning is not the way you learn best. Or have your parent or guardian contact your guidance counselor. Have you heard about specialist high skills major? Are you interested in test driving a career by doing cooperative education next year or this summer in summer school? If so, please contact your guidance counselor to sign you up for the program that helps you plan your pathway more strategically during your senior years in high school. Specialist high skills major is designed to help you discover your future pathway. If you are already an SHSM student, make sure that you have the components of the program covered. The required courses, which can be found in the SHSM section of the school website, co-op this summer during grade 12, and lastly, the required workplace and safety certifications that need to be completed by the time you graduate. If you ever have questions about the Specialist High Skills Major program, 
please contact Mr. Marshall in guidance. Let's take a moment to consider each individual pathway. By this time in your grade 11 year, you should already be on a specific pathway for once you leave high school. If you are planning on entering into the trades after high school, then you are on an apprenticeship pathway. Your learning style is geared more towards hands-on experiences. Learning through experience is how you learn best. The nice thing about the trades is that 85% of your learning is done on the job through work and training in a workplace while you are earning a paycheck, and only 15% is learned in a school setting. Jobs in the skilled trades pay well, they are interesting, and you are free and mobile to move around. Jobs in the trades are always in demand as one in three jobs in our economy are done by tradespeople. How do you get a job in the trades? Well, you'll need a minimum grade 12 education. That means completing high school. You will need to have strong math marks, take any science courses like physics or chemistry, and have good marks in English. Polish up your resume by adding SHSM to it and highly consider doing a co-op placement to test drive the trade you are thinking of. There are opportunities to do co-op at high school, but also at Conestoga College and possibly through trade specific unions like, international, like the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and or Plumbers Union. Talk to your guidance counselor about these opportunities. Once you graduate from high school, you will need to find an employer to hire you as an apprentice so that you can start learning your trade or the other option is applying to college straight out of high school and taking a trade-based program and then looking for a job. At some point, you will need to find an employer to hire you so that you can start your training in your trade. The next pathway to consider is the college pathway. And you would consider this pathway because your ideal job or career in the future requires a college diploma. Students on a college pathway enjoy practical hands-on experiences in combination with theory-based delivery in a smaller class size environment. There are many career-focused programs that you can choose from to study at the college level. College programs consist of one to four year programs. Colleges offer one year certificates, two to three year diplomas, and they also now offer degree programs. How to get to college. Obviously, you will need to graduate from high school with a college level or university level English in grade 12. You may also need additional program specific requirements such as a specific math, senior science course or other senior level courses at the college level or university level. If you are considering a degree program at college, then you are required to take six university level courses in your grade 12 year. Check out www.ontariocolleges.ca for more information on programs. Students will apply electronically to Ontario Colleges by February 1st of their grade 12 year. The Community Living Pathway. Community Living students here at Doyle are working closely with their special education monitors to continuously build life skills by attending classes and volunteering their time within their community. Community Living students typically leave high school after a seven year journey and are prepared to immerse themselves into daily active living. University-bound students enjoy academic and theoretical learning. You are independent and you are a self-directed learner. Your future career may depend on having a university education as well. For example, if you want to become a teacher, a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, or a certified public accountant, you need to go to university to attain a degree for these types of jobs. In order to apply to university, you obviously need to graduate from high school, but more specifically, you need to plan for six university level courses in grade 12, starting with university grade 12 English. And depending on your programs of interest, you may require to choose program specific courses like math and science courses in grade 12. Take some time to visit the Ontario University's information website to seek out program specific information and expected minimum grade requirements. Students will be applying to university programs electronically by mid-January of their grade 12 year. If your pathway is the workplace right after high school because you want to gain some work experience, learn a trade eventually, earn some money and explore different job options, then fantastic. 
make sure that you are choosing the right courses for grade 12 that will help you prepare for the world of work, like technology courses, perhaps a business course, or even an extra math course in grade 12. Be sure to work on your resume by adding volunteer hours, part-time jobs, specialist high skills major, extracurricular interests, and consider taking co-op in grade 12 if you do not take it in your grade 11 year, as co-op allows you to experience the workplace before you actually start working full-time. The list that you see here are some great resources for students planning their pathway. Please take some time to do research so that you are fully aware of what you need to do in order to create a fully prepared plan for you to be successful in your transition from high school to your future destination. Remember that you can reach out to your guidance counselor anytime you have pathway related questions. Researching your pathway plan using the following websites should be done with your parents or guardians so they can help and support you as well and be fully aware of the pathway that you are on. Grade 12 students also have access to specialized programming off Monsignor Doyle campus at Conestoga College, the University of Waterloo, or Wilfrid Laurier University. Anyone who is thinking about applying to college, getting into the trades, or going off to university has an opportunity to experience these pathways while they're in grade 12. Please make an appointment with your guidance counselor to get more information on programs such as CAP, CSEP, SWAC, Accelerated OEF, and USEP. Consider taking co-op to test drive a career. If you're a specialist high skills major student, then you must complete a co-op by the time you graduate. If you're not an SHSM student, it is still good to take co-op for a workplace experience and test drive a job that you're considering for the future. Co-op usually consists of two credits and takes up two periods on your timetable. For students who feel they can't fit co-op into their grade 12 timetable, they can do co-op in the summer between grades 11 and 12. Go to the guidance section of the Doyle website and click on Cooperative Education to fill out the application for co-op, plus have two teachers complete a reference check for you by sending them the teacher reference link, also found in the co-op section, in guidance on the school website. Make sure to choose the type of co-op that you want in your Blueprint Planner. Are you interested in taking a summer school course via e-learning format? Well, St. Louis offers courses for the month of July. You will be sent a link for St. Louis Summer School from your guidance counselor to your parents or guardian. Click on the link and complete the application by choosing the appropriate course that you would like to take in July. Also, make sure to choose summer school in your planner or choose any of the specific courses listed in the summer school section of My Blueprint. It's been a year since you've chosen your courses last, but just remember that the link is found in the My App section when you log into the school board. Whether you do it here at school or you do it from home, build your plan by using the My Blueprint link, click High School, and then Planner, and it'll open up all of your course selections. Choose your courses wisely for next year. If you have questions, make an appointment with your guidance counselor before you finalize your course selection. And also make sure to use the other resources that My Blueprint has to offer. Choose your courses wisely, but also make an alternate course selection just in case if your timetable has a conflict on it. That way your guidance counselor can see what other course you would like to take just in case if all of your course selections don't work out. Your parent or guardian will approve your course selections online. Watch the videos below that help explain how parents sign off on course selections. A few things that you need to consider for your grade 12 year. You need to make sure that you have a minimum of six courses for the number required to graduate. If you're eligible for study periods or spares, as students like to call them, you have to have 24 credits by the time you finish grade 11 in order to have a study period in each of your semesters in grade 12. Don't forget that you have to take religion because you are in a Catholic school. You can choose between UC religion or open religion in grade 12. Religion is something that is popular in the summertime. If you'd like to get religion out of the way, then sign up for e-learning summer school and take that course in July. Also consider having the prerequisites 
for any university or college programs in your planner. Finally, look at your credit count in my blueprint. If there are any discrepancies, make an appointment with your guidance counselor to make sure that you're on track to graduate. But don't worry, your guidance counselor's role is to make sure that you graduate in time and that you have enough credits to hit 30 so that you can graduate. What will grade 12 look like for you? Well, in the third week of September, guidance counselors will speak to all the grade 12s in pathway groups and then meet with you one-on-one -on -one individually in October through to November to make sure that you have a plan for after you graduate. Universities and colleges will be visiting Doyle in the lecture hall starting in September right through to November. We will explain how you sign up for these presentations in September when we speak to you. Applications for college and university are done in the winter time. University applications are due by mid-January and college applications are always due on February 1st. Volunteer hours should be and must be handed in by May 1st in the spring. And then finally, graduation in June. Don't forget that you have a lot of caring adults in your corner, making sure that you're on a good pathway, the pathway that you're meant to be on. You've got your parents to confide in, you have your teachers to learn from, and you have your guidance counselors to direct and advise you and answer any of your questions. Good luck with course selections, and just remember, if you need any help, just contact your guidance counselor, make an appointment, and they will be happy to assist you.